morning. It's nine o'clock and oh, it's nine o'clock and currently I'm going to this theater to help them build the set for one of their performances. This is like a volunteering position, so basically, if you want to help, you can help them with anything you want and anything they need. And uh, yes, nine o'clock is very early. This year, I was like, I'm gonna be a morning person. To be honest, I'm not actually sure how I'm gonna help in what way because am I gonna paint or do something else because I've I've mentioned I have experience with set design because I've done it for my bachelor's and uh, it was great, I loved it but yeah, not quite sure what, what I'm going to do today They also had a really cute kitchen in this theater and if you're hungry or if you want a cup of coffee you can go there and just prepare it for yourself. tired again I've seen the videos from this morning I'm like Bleh. so yeah same now <laughs> maybe tomorrow I'll have more energy and I'll be more entertaining so about the theater apparently I didn't know this it's an amateur theater it's not a West End massive theater place so it's an am amateur theater but I didn't know that apparently everyone there is volunteering and obviously I'm volunteering the set designers <laughs> They're not getting paid. Uh, everyone, like in this production, and, and not only this production, but in general, is volunteering. So basically, they're doing it because they love theater, which is I, I was impressed. At. And this thing, the building a set, is very time-consuming. So you you need to have some some free time. So I was like, okay, how do you find time to uh, to do this? And obviously, you need to have another job. How? Are you supporting yourself? One of the, the set designer explained to me that apparently, in her case, obviously she uh, she said she uh, she was self-employed, which is good for her because this is how she had the time to do it. Because for example, today she she's gonna spend the whole day there, basically. And now it's five o'clock currently. I'm going home, but she, she stay there. Tomorrow she's going back because she needs to. Finish some small details. Monday they have a dress rehearsal. I think Tuesday oh, they're performing, and Wednesday or Wednesday, something like this. Another interesting thing that I want to share is the fact that today one of the I, I think she was the assistant director or production. I'm not quite sure. She brought food today without like nobody has asked her asked her, but she 
brought some cookies, she brought the brownies, she apparently yesterday she made it herself and today she brought it. Or no, actually she said this morning she woke up, we had to be there around 9 o'clock. She woke up very early, she mentioned, and she baked some brownies and I thank you. I asked the set designer what was the process of building the set and then how, what are they doing? She said that when they have a show, let's say the show is one week, they have a show twice a day and on Saturday when the show finishes they need to take down everything, um, obviously they need volunteers to help them and on Sunday morning they are already building stuff for the next, for the whole show. Okay, another lovely position. Yeah, my phone is in the cupboard. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna be cooking. I'm, I'm gonna make a salad, I'm not gonna be cooking. I just wanted to share a lovely story. We have a mouse. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but we have a mouse in the house. It's not, at least it's not a rat, if I must be positive but we have actually we had a few um, of them at the beginning i was like okay we live on the second floor it's fine they, they can't go upstairs and then we saw it inside the room running around i was like i the good thing by the way is the fact that we haven't seen it for two weeks maybe the mouse went on a vacation the neighbors by the way they have a cat maybe the cat I don't know what happened, but I haven't seen the mouse, which is good, I guess. Maybe, maybe it comes when we sleep, which is bad, because if the mouse is able to go to the second floor, then probably is able to go to the bed. Write down in the comments if the mouse is able to go on the bed or not. What else? Anything else to share? That's it, pretty much interesting news. This is very hard for me to, to do daily vlogging thing, by the way, because it's really, when you go, when you vlog, when you're away outside of the country when you're on the trip when you're somewhere you have something interesting to, to talk about you have something interesting to film and when you are trying to vlog every single day and post at the end of the day that's very hard because you're not doing anything you're, like you work you uh, uh, i do volunteering stuff uh, currently not usually but uh, and then i go home and it's boring and it's the same thing so i don't know if you know sorel Amour, hopefully I pronounced her name right, but I'm a big massive fan. Massive fan, but can't pronounce her name. Well, if you haven't seen her, her vlogs, <clears throat> check them out. She's great. And I think she did a similar challenge, not anything connected to the Oscars or something, but she tried to post something every single day for, I think, a week. The idea was just to be extremely active. And at the end of the day, you don't need to be, you don't need to be a, perfectionist just to be productive i think she was waking up at 5 a 5 a.m and this is how she managed to be extremely productive to post more something like this just check her channel obviously i don't know her but watching her vlogs she looks like an amazing person and she's very inspiring oh about the mouse yeah, the first time, the first time when I when I saw the mouse, I saw the mouse running around in the kitchen here. I was very brave, didn't scream, didn't shout, but I was like, Ooh, I'm not going to the kitchen ever again. I went upstairs, as I mentioned, I was like very calm. I was like, the mouse can't go upstairs, everything is fine. Then I saw the mouse upstairs. I lost it. I'm moving out. I'm. I, I don't care. Then I didn't move out. The most interesting story. Next day, I'm going to the toilet. You're doing stuff in the toilet as every no normal person who wants some privacy. What am I looking at? <laughs> mouse. Yeah, the mouse was just there with me. I was like, okay, I guess I need to finish what I'm doing with uh, sitting next to me. So I was like, perfect. My love, stay, please, please stay. Because this is YouTube and I'm pretending that I'm eating healthy. <laughs>